Did I say that? No, no, oh, you didn't. Yeah, no, of course not. It's a good, it's good thing it's not recorded. Yeah. Off the record, off the record. Hi. Hello. Well, Hello. thanks for doing this, by the way. Thank You're you. Welcome. Thank you for having us. New, new season of American Dad. Yeah. What can we expect? <sighs> Just a bunch of cartoons. <laughs> Seven less episodes. <laughs> Seven less. Yeah, we were doing 15 episodes on TBS rather than the old 22 on Fox, but in terms of episodes themselves, we're doing uh, Bring Back Wheels and the Leg Man. Uh, yes. Nice. Nice. Great. In Manhattan. <laughs> in Manhattan. Yeah, actually. Uh, Francine gets kidnapped and they have to find out where she went. Um, we're having a new uh, Christmas episode. Mm-hmm. And so that'll be a little bit. Uh, no, no, whole other version of uh, mind altering. You wish for. Real, yeah, reality changing kind of. Uh, there are thing. three universes, I think. Yes, there are, huh? That's true. Um, what else are we doing? We're doing an episode where Snot and Steve uh, join a karate studio. It doesn't work out with Steve in this studio, so he ends up. Uh, Roger ends up training him in uh, martial He's arts. Good, yeah. And so Snot and Steve uh, battle. Uh, what else? Uh, the chi- a Chinese billionaire buys the show from Seth That's and uh, takes over and, and does and, and promises not to change any everything. But of course, not be true. Um, what else? Sometimes you say one thing and you do the other. Right. Um, we're doing an episode where. Oh, Steve says, um, fuck you to his mom for the first time. Um, and so she doesn't take it well. Um, what else are we doing? Um, I don't know, I have my little crib sheet. Uh, Stan, Stan and Francine go to Hollywood and um, Stan meets this woman who believes, uh, who convinces Stan that he is the reincarnation of her dead husband. So Stan takes it upon himself to help this woman finished this man's movie that was uh, uh, the last thing that he was doing. So we explore a little bit of reincarnation. Um, what else am I doing? I don't know. Uh, I think he knows it's him when he sees the man right. up on the screen. Because he has a pen. The same American dad pen. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. right behind you. Um, you guys were there. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what, um, and then we have some actors, some, um, Kristen Chenoweth is, kind of, is uh, when Steve and Haley join a roller derby team, because uh, right, actually one. Haley is, doesn't really, he's not that good, but Steve is like incredible, so in order for Haley to be on the team, Steve has to be a girl, pretend to be a girl. Um, they say you can play if your sister will play. Yeah, because they think sister, they just... and you see Steve skate by, and he goes, uh, he goes up and he holds the railing, and he's standing right next to what you would say in lesbian terms, a boy, a boi. And also, like there's a woman standing Who right looks next identical. to identical, de- almost identical to Steve. So, and so Haley goes, oh, she gets it. Why? How Steve can be confused yeah. or mistaken for a girl. Um, that's a fun episode. And so yeah, and then, that's. And then Steve gets confused. And then Steve gets confused because he's. A long story, but yeah. he's not sure what sexuality it's he is. Story, so. um, <laughs> uh, what else are we doing? I don't know. Celebrity guest appearances. Anybody? Can like um, Ted Danson, Kathy Bates, uh, Uma Thurman, um, Carl Reiner, Mickey Rooney, in his perhaps last perhaps role. last role. Um, right. Get all one line. Yeah. We'll great. do the computer. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, can, that's, he nailed it. Um, how did you guys feel about the transition from Fox to TBS? I was so happy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we're, not, we're not getting we're just, canceled. It's so funny. great. <laughs> that was pretty much I don't much care it. who wants us. Yeah, exactly. Sign with somebody. Um, but it was actually a, it was a relief at the time, but now it's a complete it's a blessing, joy. Yeah. joy. Yeah. I mean, they're taking us on like Fox never embraced us. And... We are so Fox lucky. Fox didn't feel like they needed to because because they had Family Guy, and they're just gonna as long as we had enough of the percent, a good enough percentage of the Family Guy uh, audience watching, they were fine with us. Um, but now TBS is really you know taking the show on and 
pushed it unlike anything that we've ever seen. I don't think I've ever seen know. an ad for American Dad, really. No, I mean, I watched Family Guy, the crossover episode, and, they, and there was a 30 second spot uh, for us on TBS. And I was like, that's the first time we've ever gotten a advertisement on Fox. I mean, it was always that animation domination where it's like, and a brand new American Dad. And that was the extent of the advertisement. And now, you know, look around, there's a gigantic poster of us at New York City Comic Con. And, Blows my mind. Of oh, Stan flashing his family. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> right, right, right. And I was on a subway and yeah. checked out those Roger on the subway. And, there was you know. a perception that on Fox you were the forgotten show. Mm -hmm. You know, it was always either The Simpsons or American Dad, or yeah, Family Guy. guy. Um, is that the case? Did you guys ever feel like that really? Or No, no, I never felt like that. <laughs> 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 it's nice to fly under the radar sometimes, you know, you don't get well, as much scrutiny. That's true, that's yeah. true. That, I mean, that was the benefit of not being really looked at by Fox. And that we, they said, you know, do whatever you want. And so we were able to really express our creative freedom and juices, and it may have been the best thing that ever happened to us. That, you know, they didn't have any real expectations. But we, of course we felt like that. I mean, if you couldn't help fans started, like, liking the show. Right. No. And we read it. We read like the fan comments all the time. We look at the the Onion, their the, yeah, their AV Club. We go and see how our show gets graded every time. Yeah, no, we're insecure like that. Yeah, we it, that determines how good our day is. Yeah, it does. Uh, no, but it's been it's been awesome. It's really been great. They've been really supportive. They've been you know support creatively and obviously. Getting the show's name out. They're super it's behind the show. In fact, the guy, who, one, well, one of the people that covers the show, he seems to know the show better than me. Right. <laughs> he does. Been worked on every episode, as Matt has, and he just he'll like he remember little things that happened to them. So, like, so we have to tweak scripts in yeah. order to make <laughs> it consistent with the they past. Know, they know the show, so that's cool. Yeah. So knowing that, and knowing that you have full support of creativity here, what kind of things are you trying to push now? Like what kind of jokes are they like, yeah, I could say this now, or this character can happen, or you know, so this event now. Yeah, uh, I don't feel like we've ever like tried to be pushing the envelope. I mean, like we're not trying to swear on TV, or we're not, you know, but we're trying to tell real stories, like saying "fuck you" to your mom. You know, we don't, of course, we don't say we can't, we get bleeped. You know, but I don't. I feel like what we do is we tell really good stories between our characters. It doesn't feel like we're pushing. We've never felt like we needed to push, and we've been able, and we've been given us a lot of creative freedom, even at Fox, to kind of do the shows that we want to do. We've, they've never said no to us, so which is kind of more of the same at TBS, where they trust us to come up with something fun and funny that you know that they're going to like and that our audience is going to like. So. But you know, like for example, they just showed every Simpsons ever. I'm sure you guys watched some of that. Like I started watching that from the beginning. This is the first four seasons of The Simpsons. Like you watched so the first many four episodes of The Simpsons. The first, first four seasons of The Simpsons. Yeah. Just now. Yeah. And just recently. But I recorded them and then. Is that why you're not returning any of my calls? <laughs> I'm watching The Simpsons, dude. So it's, go back to those first four years and it's like the act breaks. Sometimes they're like dramatic. And it's just, the show is amazing. And like, I feel like, if anything, I feel like we're doing, we're like trying to put more heart in it. Right, now. That's, that's, that is, I mean, because at times we got really, you know, out there and this is an opportunity mm -hmm. to kind of pull it back and like, you know, just get a little bit more touchy-feely in yeah. some ways. I think Not that, all the way, but. I think that if you're, you can, like, if you redeem your people at the end, if you have like some nice message, then everything that you did, all the fucking off you is did before forgiven. that. Is forgiven. Is forgiven and it's good. <laughs> Yeah. And it makes it funny, you know, when you care. Yeah, it's always, if you're, if you, and that's always been our philosophy is that, you know, you gotta invest in the characters, you gotta invest in the story. And if you have your audience invested, then everything else is kind of, just kind of work itself out. The funny as well. Like in The Simpsons, when the, there's an act break where uh, Bart says he's not gonna get out of second grade. Right? And that's like, he's just like so worried. He's gonna, and you're like, whoa, that's like, you know, it's so real, and you remember that as being like, remember being a kid, and you remember, you know, the, there isn't a laugh at the end of every scene. Yeah, no, and we, we're, there are not going to be that, no, that many laughs, taking out the laughs in TBS. Yes. We, yeah, very, I mean, that's, that's going to be the new... Um, you always um, put the jokes back in. No, I mean, but TV, it's now going to be the new thing for TBS, TBS very feely. Very feely, yeah. <laughs> Recently, Family Guy. 
for yes. a crossover with The Simpsons. What type of cartoon, or what, any type of cartoon, or even live action, would you want to see crossed over with American Dad? I want to do American Horror Stories. Really? <laughs> <It's a freak laughs> show, yeah. American Dad Story? American, American, American Horror Dad, Dad Horror Story. <laughs> That'd be, I don't know how American. Yeah, I don't know how that would work, but it could. It could work. American horror. It could be frightening. Yeah, I would just like to see Roger in the free show. I think. I mean, that's. I mean, so somebody just asked us that question. So, and my my answer was Super Friends. That's a good answer. I would, if I could bring them back and somehow make that work. Pre Wonder Twins. Uh, No, I would like to use the Wonder Twins. Gleek and Zena. Jan, Jan and Zena and Gleek. Yeah. Um, I don't know who. who would you cross Who would you with? like us to cross over with? Yeah. Let's see here. Uh, D recently met, D just mentioned The Walking Dead and Rachel mentioned Game of Thrones. Oh, we, oh, oh we, 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 have played with, we have played yeah. with Game of Thrones a little bit. But Thank you yeah. so much. Thanks, guys. Well, Remember when they so get stuck in Family Land? Yep. And then there's the bit. map and the breakdown is supposed to be like the thing Game of Thrones and Three Kingdoms. The three, yeah. the three kingdoms yeah. fighting each other. Well, I think a fun crossover could also be Mad Men. I think maybe yeah, Stan could find a way to work himself into Don That would be We often write him as if he's from the 50s, like, even though he's younger than me now. Yeah, that's the weird thing. Is that I was younger than him when we started. <laughs> now, <laughs> now you're older than him. But he, yeah, he stays the same. I mean, he seems like he's from the 50s. So Roger would love the 50s, right? I, you did love the We should have an episode where we find out that all the family has, you know, paintings in the attic that's keeping them, that's why they, yeah. they don't oh, yeah. stay that age. Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, okay. Alright. Thank you. Thank you so much. Great talking to you.